And let's continue today working on identifying our hickory trees in the wintertime. Like I said in my pig nut video a few days ago, many of these trees you can't see the leaves even when it, they are in a full foliage. So we have to use other means to identify them. And here is one of the two shaggy bark hickories that I've worked on. And the only two shaggy bark hickories I'm going to work on in the Ohio Valley, Lower Great Lakes, and Appalachian regions. And this is a shaggy bark, shell bark hickory. So it's a shell bark hickory with some shaggy bark that's starting to peel off on the top half of the tree. But the bottom half actually is still quite evenly furrowed and not shaggy at all. And it could easily be mistaken for a pig nut or a mocker nut hickory. So we have to use some other tools to positively identify this tree. And I'm here in early March, but there's still some pretty well preserved nuts on the ground of this shell bark hickory. And it is the largest of the nuts of the five hickories I'm working on. I got my Swiss Army knife there for scale. That Army knife is three inches long, and we've got a nut here almost two inches long. The uh, one in the lower right corner has still got the husk on it. And the nuts on the inside are at least an inch and a half long. You can see the top right corner is a, is a nut from the inside of this shell bark hickory nut. If we look at the shape of the nut, it is more oblong than the shag bark hickory. Shaped more like, um, I would say, almost like a, a watermelon and um, is larger, probably about two inches long. And let's pause for just a moment because I have a shag bar kickery growing right down the trail here. Just a few feet away, but I'm going to pause for just a moment and set up over there. And let's continue on. Here is our shag bar kickery just 100 feet away. Far enough away that I can tell the nuts from this tree are not from the shell bark and vice versa. Otherwise, if they were right next to each other, we wouldn't know which tree produced which nuts. But this tree is definitely shaggy the whole way up. The shags are bigger. And it is probably a lighter gray color. Now that I've looked at both of them side by side, this is a couple shades lighter. Less of an olive gray and more of a tan gray. So that alone might be a subtlety that could help us tell them apart. What I also have here... is the nuts from both trees. So on the left side here is my shag bark hickory shell with the shag bark hickory nut to the left of my Swiss Army knife and some of the husks as well. So the husks on this shag bark hickory are really thick but the nut is not as large. I'm gonna break it apart. You can see the nut is not even half the size of the shell bark nut. The nut on the extreme right corner there is from that shag bark and the nut on the left of it is from the shell bark. So a smaller nut, much thicker husk, and the nut is not as long and it's shaped more like a pumpkin. I can't really get these back together right now, but if you find one still intact, it is shaped like a pumpkin and on average is smaller than that of the shell bark hickory. So we're using several clues to determine these two trees and which one's which, because in these swamp forests here, we can find both. And the shell bark is mostly restricted to floodplains and, and swamp forests, and the shag bark grows in a variety of habitats, including hillsides. So here we are. This is at the Heise, um, excuse me, the Gully Park in Warren County, Ohio, and this is where I shot some other videos of these trees. So I'm back to do more studying.